Welcome back. Now, normally, right about now, we'd be telling you what to expect tomorrow night. But lately, I've personally been thinking longer term and I have some news that I wanted you to hear from me before you hear it from anyone else. I've decided to finish up with a current affair this year. It's been a big decision, huge actually, and before the gossip websites start telling you rubbish, I want you to know it's been my decision alone and I'm not being shoved out the door by the boys club because I'm too old. I'm not too old, I'm just a bit tired. And for the record, both the boys and the girls have asked me to stay. But I've basically been a shift worker for 26 years now, driving to work before dawn for nine years on the Today Show and the past 17 years driving home after dark here on A Current Affair. And it's time for less of that daily obligation. It has been my absolute privilege to host this show. I was just a kid in 1971 when Mike Willisey started it. And in our family, it was required viewing each night as Michael either forensically dismantled some politician or maybe laughed along with hoax. Back then, I was going to be a vet or a flight attendant. So if you'd told me that one day I would sit in this chair, let alone occupy it for 17 years, I'd have thought you were mad. Well, lucky me, you have let me indulge my love of interviewing here. I have talked to people who've made us all laugh and cry, who've shared their triumphs and their challenges and their wisdom and despair. And because it's your show, not mine, and you get to vote each night with your remote control, you told us you wanted more of that. So thank you for that opportunity. Thank you for your loyalty. I hope I've repaid it. I'm around until November, then I'm going to take a long holiday, but it's business as usual until then. See you tomorrow night. Good night.